Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshek. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner. This is the MLB Odds Couple Show for Monday, May 9th. Ooh. Mike Brenner, things are going okay. I'm uh, I've been, over the past since my vacation. Yeah. My ROI has been about uh, plus 16 percent. Let's throw the record up. And of course, uh, your uh, ROI over the whole year to date is about eight or nine percent. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very good. Specifically, yeah. well, your, that that your, little break you took certainly uh, yeah. was good for you. No, I, no I doubt. started off as we all saw, but way behind the eight ball. I was down yeah. like 15 units. Now I'm down only about two or three units. Yep. I'm not exactly sure how much, but um, Pistol um, Pete yeah. coming back. And now we have uh, the Monday card. Hey, by the way, I yeah. did tweet out a winner yesterday. I, really? was, I was up uh, in, in the mountains for my daughter's birthday, and I tweeted out the Colorado Rockies underdog jump all over it. Nice. Sure enough, a couple guys responded, so I was glad so to get that. So you tweeted out a winner. That's awesome. I, yeah, I tweeted I out two winners yesterday. Did you really? Two second half winners in fantastic. baseball. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, I also tweeted out two overnight lines for today's card, so uh, we can get to those for sure. Um, yeah, but just real quick, yeah. I mean, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the Cubs just tied a record, the 10th team to start 24-6 and six to start out. Out of season. Do you know the city of Chicago owns baseball? Because the second best team in Major League Baseball is the White Sox at yeah. 22 and 10. Yeah. Who would have thought? Not well, me. Well, and I've been on uh, I've been on some of those games. I've definitely made yeah. a little bit of money with the Cubs and White Sox. Not every time out though. I, I'm not as much as I should have made, but I've definitely made some. And uh, let's get to the to the games on the card. Okay. Well, let's start with the first game that I tweeted out. We'll see what you have to say about. It. I tweeted out um, the Yankees on the overnight line. When I wow. tweeted, it was minus balls. 114 at Heritage. I wouldn't uh, tweet out anything well, with the Yankees. So you got balls. Yeah, I mean, they got. They they got Ivan Nova starting. He's coming back from the pen. I think he's at least for his first start uh, back out of the pen, he's going to be good here. Young is starting for, for KC. Yeah, Obviously, he has yeah. nothing. Chapman is back for the Yankees. Now, that doesn't necessarily you know mean that uh, he's going to come in and save the day for this game. Yeah. But as sluggish as the Yankees' bats are, Casey's bats aren't that aren't any great shakes either, and with the small line, I just tweeted out. You 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 think that that's a risk well? No, with Chris Young on the mound, I think the Yankees yeah. you know probably could get the advantage. But I'm just staying off them. I just can't figure that team out right now. I don't even think they can at this moment. But yeah, and that's not a bad thing. It just is what it is. Dealing with the adjustments they've had to make. I mean, people. Casey has a good bullpen, good defense, so they're always you know it feels like they're always about to be undervalued at sure, any point. Sure. But my sense is just with with the pitching matchup, with Chapman back, with the line. How you feel it? Pull the trigger. All right, I'll, I tweeted it out, so I'll give it here. And right now I'm seeing a minus 113 on Bookmaker. If, okay. uh, if that line turns out to be a stale line, then I will uh, take minus 119 at Heritage. Right now I'm seeing okay. uh, minus 113 at the Chris Books. And then the other one I tweeted out was uh, the under in Baltimore, Minnesota. I tweeted mm -hmm. at 9 minus uh, 115. Now it's... Um, now it's eight and a half most places. Who's and, on the hill for Baltimore on that well, one? Well, it's that guy Wilson who is oh, okay. serviceable. Yeah. And more importantly, for it's that guy Barrios from Minnesota. Mm, that guy ooh. has a huge arm. At some yeah. point, he's going to be one of these guys we're going to be betting on. You, you've been, you've been saying that for yeah. two weeks now. And I so. think when he starts to get really good, his line won't, lines won't be yeah. too inflated. Um, uh, you know, he's he's had his issues as a rookie. He's yeah. got control And like issues. you said, it's usually yeah. the fifth or sixth inning when he's running into his issues. Yeah. So I tweeted out that one uh, under nine on the overnights. Uh, again, uh, Bookmaker and DSI according to the SBR odds have nine uh, minus 120. I'll give that one. The rest of the market is at eight and a half. So I'll give that one bookmaker okay. uh, under nine minus 120. Trigger. So those are two picks there. Yeah. And then we have a bunch of other uh, situations that are interesting. Well, the yeah, first one, how many picks do you have for us? I, I've got about six picks today. Are you serious? Oh, I'm serious. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I and got I'm not just, you know, no, 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 it's okay. throwing them out there. I okay, see so let's, value. Let's, let's go down uh, two other games that I that I bet. I'm not sure if I want to give them as a pick. They might. I have a feeling that one of them is is uh, part of your, of your picks package today. Uh, Steven Matz going on the road for the Mets, yeah. right, yeah. against Kazmir. Yeah. Big uh, pitching mismatch on paper, at least, yeah. there for the Mets. Uh, the Dodgers, you know, they picked it up a little bit against uh -huh. Toronto, but they're coming back across town. And um, I jumped on the Mets on the first five innings, minus 115. Wow. Uh, what do you think about that? I like it. I'm yeah. taking them on that's, the first five, and I'm also taking 20. them okay. on the game yeah. run line. Right. So okay. I love it. I just think it's value. So the first half is the money line I'm taking, though. Okay, the first half, the first five innings is the money line. That's minus 115. Exactly. And I'm on that one, too. I'll get that one officially also. I and the it. run line, I saw it at plus 150 for the full game at Heritage. I don't know if that's going up. Right now, it's shopper. plus 155, baby. Well, we're going to take it. So we're, we're going to give it. you that. Mets plus 155 on the full game run line, and we're both going to be on, uh, on the um, – First five innings, yep. money line, minus 115. Then another game in the same vein is... Uh, and another thing, yeah. uh, Matt's was dominant his last time Oh, yeah, out, yeah, And yeah. I think he's going to just continue that. He was, he was dominant before his yeah. first start this year. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, at some point, speed bumps are going to come for him. Sure. Will that come here? Maybe. But I'm willing to bet that it, that it doesn't, at least relative to Kashmir, right? Because Kashmir might have a speed bump as well. Maybe All right, go. then, in the same vein, Cleveland at Houston, right? Corey 
Kluber three straight Ooh. awesome starts. Yeah, he is. He's now got his first you know, shutout since 2014. Yeah. Now, does that too. mean he's going to have a little bit of a letdown here? Possibly. But then you got Fires on the other side, who's getting his strikeouts. He's also giving up the runs, yeah. giving up the home runs. And I bet uh, Cleveland on the first five innings line. And um, what do you, is that one of your picks? It is. It's yeah. I got him on the run line and the first okay. first five money line. Okay, so. I'll go with you as well. <laughs> first five innings is minus 125, and yep. you took him on the run line. Yeah, I took him on the run line, but I hadn't seen the value. Um, I was looking at Heritage. What's that? Plus 140. Okay, plus 140. I'm going to take that. I had saw it. Plus 136. So plus 140. Pistol Pete doing the line shopping. Yeah. All right. So there you go. You know, yep. uh, Kluber, look, he after he won the Cy Young, he had a lot of starts where I think he burned people. People were saying he can't be bad this many starts in a row, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. What's going on now, though, seems like he's in a groove. Well, he is, and not just that. The team is. That right. that was a great pickup, Mike Napoli, the catcher. Yeah. And the reason they got him, Frank Kona had him in Boston, but he's picking it up with them on offense. And this team's looking good, and I think Houston is just still in that rut right now. So mm -hmm. I look for Cleveland to keep it pouring on. I love the first half money line, full game run line, Pistol Pete. All right, so those are all my picks. Four okay. picks there, except for uh, a couple of second halves that we'll get to in a second, but we got a bunch of other interesting situations. Uh, yeah, we, we got do. Felix Hernandez, we got yep, Strasburg starting. Let's hear your analysis of that. Well, one. I'm going with Hernandez on the full game money line. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I had saw it at minus 138. My, if that's still available. Full game, Felix Hernandez. Yeah. Minus 130 is what okay, we're giving. Well, I'm going to take 130. Bet online, the Greek sports betting, and a bunch my line of shopper. Yeah. You know, and usually I do a lot of run lines with him, but it seems like when he pitches, the offense mm -hmm. just seems to lack a bit. Um, Tampa Bay, though, more he's coming off his worst outing of the year, yeah. and this is a team that's really shuffling. Seattle is really playing some good baseball. Hernandez didn't get the loss or the win last time out, yeah. but gave up eight runs. So I look for this as a bounce back spot for him at home, Pistol Pete. So I'm pulling the trigger on the full game money line minus one thirty. Yeah, Fernandez has also been uh, been showing some signs of struggling, but yes. at home. He's only had two he home always, starts, both yeah. of them seven inning shutout starts. Exactly. He, he Still, tightens yeah. up. He tightens up. And both home. of them were against relatively weak lineups, which is what we have the exact same situation here. So yeah. I think we should expect another seven inning one or zero run start from him. Yeah. I'm not going to pull the trigger on that one, but I, I, I certainly uh, understand where you're coming from. All right. Then uh, we also have Strasburg starting. We have Jose Fernandez, who has been, yeah, you know, not really line. getting it done He's, at home, but, yeah. but, they're, but they're pricing him as he is, yeah, right? Minus yeah. 230. I wow. saw that, and I was like, wait a minute, what's he done at home? Yeah. Really? Not much. So. I mean, he's been a and Peralta on the other side has been struggling, it's but really still. really struggling, yeah. I mean, I'm not touching that one. Pistol. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a 10-foot pole, baby. Give me 170 or something like that at least. No, 230. <laughs> All right, so what else do you have for us, Mike? Oh, I'm going with Pittsburgh also today mm -hmm. with John Neese. All right, 3-1, mm -hmm. and even though his ERA is huge. All right, lost to the Cubs last time out, but shit, who hasn't lost yeah. to the Cubs yeah. last time out? Um, the Reds, they just lost last two games to, Mil uh, I think it was uh, actually yeah. Milwaukee pounded them. Yeah. So I think Pittsburgh, they are chasing the Cubs. they got to keep in line with them somehow, and they see what's happening. And Pittsburgh's a good team. Money line was minus 115 on this, unless my line chopper can find Money it. line, the, uh, wait, the first the five innings? Full game, full game. The money line. Oh, yeah. the money line. Okay, right. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, minus one. Well, we can give you a minus 113. All right. Well, I'm going to take it, Pistol Pete. Thanks for shopping the Sports extra Sports betting cents. and bet online. And that was also my uh, one of my second half picks that I was going to give, so I'll just give that one now. Okay. Pitt on the second half should be about minus 125 or minus 130 or so, and that will be my fifth pick. Yep. All right, Mike Brenner, what else do you have for well, us? Well, I've got one other play, and I'm not just doing it because everybody's mm -hmm. doing it. I'm doing it because this team is the real deal. Mm -hmm. Lester's on the mound. Yeah. The, the, the run line wasn't even out yet when we had the show. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, I'm using that as my pick. And I'm going to speculatively say the run line is going to be about minus 115. Right. Uh, well, there's, there's no run line we can quote you right now, but we can give you, uh, what do you want to take, the pinnacle opener? Whatever yes, the pinnacle, the pinnacle opener, opener okay. will be my line. And again, I'm not... The Padres got a good up and comer, you know this this Vargas, yeah. this Caesar Vargas. All right, he's only given up one run or less yeah. in four sure, starts. Sure, sure, sure. But Absolutely. I've seen a lot of pitchers. I mean, look at Joe Ross. Yeah. Look what Chicago did to him and did it quick. So they're coming into a dangerous place. This place is going to be absolutely going crazy yeah. today. Uh, going for their 25th win of the season. So run line. I'll do the opening line with Pinnacle. And Lester, I mean, when you have a lineup like that, and then you have a starter as reliable yeah. and just awesome as Lester. I mean, I mean come on, I yeah. love what's happening yeah. in Chicago, man. I want. <laughs> go catch a ball game for real. You may be right. All right, the pinnacle over there with Chicago. Did we yep. get to all your picks, Mike? We Brennan? sure did, and I'll review them also. I yeah, don't confuse review. anybody, including myself. All right, again, I'm going with Pittsburgh Pirates today on the full game money line, minus 113. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the Cubs 
full game run line. It's going to be whatever opens with Pinnacle. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going with the Mets on the first half money line, minus 115, mm -hmm. and the full game run line, plus 155, thanks to my line mm -hmm. shopper. All right, I'm doing Seattle today on the full game money line, minus 130. That's what you had got yep, me. Yep. And then I'm also doing uh, Cleveland today. I love it. First half money line, minus 125, and the full game run line, Plus 140. All right, and I got, I got, the, I got the Yanks, the Baltimore-Minnesota under, Cleveland and the Mets on the first five innings, and then Pittsburgh on the second half line. All right, Mike Brenner. Hey, let's keep tweeting out our, our, yeah. our games with anything we feel is an advantage to help these well, viewers. Well, I'm, I'm tweeting out overnight lines in baseball now. You're the man. There you, you go. You are the man. But let's do it again. Let's, let's have a great week. Again. Let's book, beat that All book right. and knock his ass down. Yeah. We'll be back tomorrow for the Tuesday card. I'm looking forward to it.